Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. Right. I'm gonna go. Take care. I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed oh, nobody. No? Then why did you run away when they came to question you? I already told you I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! Ash? Okay. Sean Moss's mother's here. She'd like to speak with you. It was a few months back. The middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. There was something. Something in his eyes. As if it wasn't really him. There may be no connection, but the next day there was that announcement about another victim of the origami killer. Find my son. I'm begging you. I'm Police Lieutenant Carter Blake. And this is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. I'm sorry, that's impossible. I beg your pardon? I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patience. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. I know you don't want to protect a murderer. If you know anything, you must tell us, Doctor. I'm sorry, I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate. For your own sake. It's your duty to inform the police if you suspect one of your patients, Doctor. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. I suggest you take it. Doctor, a child's life is at stake. You may know something that could help us save him. I am going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So, you're gonna be a good boy and tell me what I want to know or I am really gonna lose my temper. Blake, that's enough. 
Let's get out Let of here. Let go of me. You... You have no right! <laughs> Come on, Doc. There's an easy way and a hard way. It's your fucking choice. You have no right to hit him. I'm saving a kid's life for Christ's sake. If you don't like it, leave. If you don't let go of this man immediately, I'll report you and you'll be off the case. What the hell's the matter with you, Norman? Were you getting cold feet? You don't want to save Sean Mars anymore? I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me all rights. So you're gonna stop this shit right now. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. Feels responsible for his death. A sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. It must have fallen out of his pocket. I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer. Nice shot. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Oh, no thanks. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. <laughs> it's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. Okay. Take off your jacket and grab a club. The balls are in that basket. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. Hell, it's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder next time. I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. 
I hear you've been asking questions about my son. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. With all due respect, Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. I'm an influential man, Mr. Shaw, and I pay very well to the lawyers. Are you trying to buy me? Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shaw. If you do, you'll regret it. Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer. Porcelain lizards? They look new, out of place with the rest of this old beat-up stuff.
Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? You have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. If you succeed, you will get your reward. Gotta disinfect the wound, if I want to have a chance of surviving. Gotta find a sharp object, something that'll make you a clean cut. I don't want to have to start hacking away at it. Left. Cut off a finger? No way! I have to go through with it. I have no choice, for Sean's sake. Ah! <laughs> 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 
That's affirmative, Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give this signal, is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. What's he doing in there? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. What's that girl doing there? If Marsh comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Wanna get her out? No, stand down. inside. Maybe she lives there. Well, it's just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The police, they're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. We've got to find another way out. Shit. What's he up to in there? Wait for a go on my word.
crate. I'll be able to pull him up if I... Ready on my go. Stay here, Jaden. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Two men at the door hold your positions. It's a go. And a woman exiting the alley. A woman? Shit! It's that girl who went in! Everybody downstairs! They're in the alley! Follow them! The subway. Blow your fucking brains out.
I'm not here.